What is going on guys? Welcome. It is 2022 and with that we are starting the year off. Again, we're doing a little showcase of what's going on with the trucks. Our last video in January for uh, my 87 and also for Brian's 97 hard body uh, did very well. We're just showing you kind of doing a little showcase of the trucks, uh, basically showing you what we're working with that year. Uh, so this is just going to be a recap of 2021. We have done a lot of videos guys. We are almost basically at 100 videos. We're very close there. So this year we're definitely hitting that. Uh, so with that in mind, we also have done a lot of things between the 87 uh, B2000, between my uh, 88 B2200 you'll see here in the background. Uh, also on Brian's hard body and the 97 and also a, a couple of the cars like my friend Joe's 4Runner, my uh, Toyota Tacoma and I believe we also showcased a lot for Lightning at one point uh, that belonged to my friend Joe. So again, lots of videos this year and uh, first of all we want to give you a big thank you guys, big big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for following us, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel, for liking the videos, for commenting and interacting with us. Um, we are also have a lot of you guys on Instagram which big shout out to you guys thank you so much we really appreciate your support uh, another big thing that happened on 2021 was that we launched our store where you can pick up t-shirts stickers or any other stuff like that that we might throw out there we had a small run of third brake lights for the hard body which that did great thank you so much for everyone to buy one uh, so Again, we a lot has happened in a year. So let's just kind of recap. We're gonna to focus today on my 87 uh, B2000. And I'm gonna to talk to you about the changes that happened to this truck in 2021. Uh, there hasn't been a lot on the outside. And again, on my last video, I even said that before, I wasn't gonna change the outside too much. Uh, but there hasn't been some small subtle changes out here. And then we're gonna move on to what's changed uh, underneath the hood, which again, hasn't been a ton. And then inside of the truck, which is probably where most of the changes have happened in 2021 for this truck. Uh, I'm very excited, so let's jump right into it. All right, guys, so we are gonna start here with the outside and we are gonna start here with the front. Not a lot has changed, I'm just showing you here. This is basically how it looked last year. And again, I said it last year, I wasn't gonna change the look of the truck too much. I love how it looks right now, I like how it sits. So I wasn't gonna touch it too much. Uh, one of the things I did kind of plan to do and I guess I didn't get a chance to was hopefully fix this bumper. It is uh, just a little scratch off, as you can see, it's kind of paint fading and everything that has a couple scratches and dents and whatnot. So I've been thinking about replacing it or maybe just taking it off and painting it. Uh, so I haven't done that yet, obviously. I've also been considering maybe switching into the chrome bumper, the one that just has the little chrome strip from here to here. So still kind of debating on what I want to do on that. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think? Should I do the chrome one or should I leave it all black like that? Uh, I do love how it looks with the black, but I've been considering the Chrome one just to add a little more touches into it. Now, anything that we have done and that we have a video for it, I'll link you guys on the top. So don't forget to check the top if we get to one of those videos. And I think the first thing out here that we actually did a video on was on the Chrome handles here for the door. We replaced those really quickly. I think we did the mirrors as well. So we used to have the black ones perhaps, and I switched over to the Chrome ones just to tie the look a little bit better with the wheels, with the Chrome uh, windshield. And um, I just like how it looks. I think it looks great, especially nice little contrast there of red, black, and chrome. And then the major change we did back here was obviously the bed cover. This bed cover has been great. I haven't had any complaints with it. It's been working out great for me. Uh, I love it. It really just kind of cleans up the back and it looks awesome. Uh, that is the major, major change back here. Everything else has pretty much stayed more or less the same. Uh, oh yeah, the other thing we did was the tailgate handle here. We also added the chrome tailgate handle there um, just to, again, tie the rest of the chrome pieces with the truck. So outside of that, not a lot has changed, which again, I love it. I don't want to change it. I think it looks good. One of the things I was planning to do was fix a lot of this little dents. As you can see here, we have a little dent right there, small dents over here. We do need to do some PDR on it and I haven't done it. Just, I haven't gotten someone out here to do it. And I don't have the equipment to do it myself. Otherwise I will probably try it. But yeah, just showing you that real right here. Again, I love the look, I love this truck. So pretty pleased with how it looks still, even a year later. I want to keep it the same way it is. 
So let me open the hood real quick and I'll show you what's going on there. All right, guys, so as soon as we open the hood, the first thing that should pop up to you is gonna be our rare white cover right here. That was one of the changes we did this year. We added this Kia uh, Sportage, uh, I believe it's from out of a 95 uh, rare valve cover. Got it powder coated white, did an awesome job with that. So it looks great, I really love it. You can catch the video here on the top if you, if you wanna look at that one. But yeah, this is the major mod we did here. The second major mod we did on the engine bait is gonna be our stainless steel header, which is still holding on strong, I really love it. Honestly, you can't beat it for the price for, uh, I think it was like $120 or something like that. And it looks a lot better than the black one that used to be here, kinda all rusty and whatever. Uh, it did get buried this color, as you can see here, very this color. There's all kinds of colors going on in there, but it doesn't bother me. I like how it looks uh, and, and it does the job fairly good. Again, I'll link you guys here on the top for that video. But that is the two major changes in here. We had a couple other plans for some other stuff, but between par uh, parts being back order and everything, we just haven't been able to do it. Uh, so not a lot going on here outside of those two major things. And then there's another little teaser here. The video didn't make it into uh, 2021, but this is uh, some wiring for some, some extra lights and stuff that we have on the truck. Uh, I might give you guys a little teaser for that. The video is coming out soon, hopefully. Uh, so stay tuned for that one, but it didn't make it. It was the last mod of 2021, but it didn't make it into the channel in 2021 so it'll be up there soon so with that said we can now move on to the inside of the truck and that's where a lot of the other changes happen so let's go over there real quick all right guys and once we open the door of the truck it should be pretty obvious if you uh watched the last one but <clears throat> in case you didn't it's gonna be the door striker right here we added a nice little shiny chrome door striker it even says Mazda on it, which is pretty dope. But, uh, no, nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, that was one of the mods we did. <laughs> that was a little uh, YouTube short we added, but the major, major mod in here, in here is gonna be our nice black carpet. Uh, it came out looking great. It was a pain in the butt to put on here. Uh, so it took me a while, but it does look awesome. I mean, just look at that. We have black carpet all throughout the truck. It looks great. We also added the uh black leather little back piece here that we got from our buddy grand big shout out to him uh we also you cannot see it here but there is sound deadening all on the bottom of this all on the back of the truck here um, which makes the truck just feel a lot more solid uh, a lot more uh, there's no, there's a lot less road noise in there it's still pretty noisy just because of how low i am but it does it does a good job, I think. It does a good job with it. So the carpet looks great. We also, I don't remember if we had this on the channel or not, but we painted our uh, plastic pieces black. So we have our nice little black pieces here. We have some nice little black pieces going on back here and all the way in the back over here. Uh, so yeah, that is looking awesome. Another mod that we did uh, was our tuck cluster here. Now, if you don't remember, we used to have the regular one. So we added the one with the tack in here. We also have a nice working clock. Um, that is all working, all good to go. So that was another mod that we did here. Uh, again, the one that didn't make it into the channel on 2021. You can see another hint right down here. We got a couple nice little switches. Hopefully that's a good hint for you guys. Um, maybe it was a little too quick, let me do it again. Look at that. So that's another little teaser for you guys. Stay tuned for that video. We also got our nice Hawaiian dancer back here. Big shout out to my buddy Ravon. He uh, gave that one to me uh, from his trip to Hawaii. Uh, big shout out to you guys if you guys are watching us from Hawaii. We know we got in some love from you guys over there. So uh, big shout out to you guys. Um, Let's see what else we did. We did our LED clusters. I know we sw we basically replaced the whole cluster, but with that, we also upgraded the lights on it to LED. So if we turn this, we got some nice bright lights over here. Hopefully if we can focus, look at that. Nice. So that is kinda 
all that's going on right now in here. And one of the last ones also that uh, you would not see it obviously unless we did this is the parking lights that if you close it or unlock it, you get some nice lights in there. So that was one of the last things we did as well for the truck on 2021. So there you have it guys, that is everything that we did on my 87 B2000 for 2021. Uh, let me know in the comments guys, which one was your favorite mod of 2021? Which one did you enjoy the most? I think my favorite one out of the whole year was probably the black carpet and also the bed cover. I think it's a tie for both of them. The black carpet just makes the inside look so good, but the bed cover also makes the outside tie it all in together, which is awesome. Uh, so again, let me know in the comments which one was your favorite one, uh, which one were you excited to see, or uh, if you have a mod in mind and you haven't seen it on the channel, write it down there. I want to hear from you guys. Maybe I've been thinking about doing the same one, and hopefully I have a video coming out on that soon. So with that in mind, guys, I want to thank you so much again for uh, subscribing to the channel and then also for liking our videos or commenting on them. We really appreciate it. It really helps us out with the algorithm. Uh, so hopefully we keep showing up for more people that are into mini trucks, into B2000s, hard bodies or anything like that. Uh, again, we want to keep growing our mini truck community. Uh, for everyone that's following us on Instagram, thank you so much again. Hopefully you keep following us and interacting with us there. Uh, if you haven't checked out our website, please consider doing so. We got tons of cool stuff in there that also supports the channel in a more direct way. So we really appreciate it. If you want to get something from there, maybe get a sticker or a t-shirt, that'll be awesome. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.